Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Wrestling Fans International Association is back. That's right, the premier fan club association of the 1970s and 1980s has been revived and is back in business. Join today. It's free at the WFIA.org. That's T H E W F I A.org. You can also join us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash groups slash WFIA 1969. again everybody back in action with the 1987 super mod i am your host brad drake and this is the world wrestling federation tonight is a house show everybody live event tour number 125 we are at the rosemont horizon in chicago illinois let's take a look at our absent workers for this evening nobody except who we expect to be out let's take a look at our backstage instance Uh oh Shawn Michaels has got himself in trouble here. Sam Martino says he's got to buy drinks for everybody after the show for looking at himself too long in the mirror. For those of you that may not be familiar, the Rockers actually were signed to the WWF and then got fired after only a few shows of doing dark matches for, uh, I believe they tore up a bar or something like that. And that's what led to their early termination. All right, before we go any further, I want to talk to you. We have done numerous WWF shows in a row here, and some of you have been asking about it. I am enjoying very much playing the WWF again, and I'm probably going to continue playing it until I get tired of it again. And, uh, you know, these tend to actually, WWF shows actually tend to get our biggest numbers. Seems like our biggest uh, support comes for the WWF shows. So, I'm going to keep playing them for a while here. I don't know if I'll do the whole month of June as the WWF, but I'm considering it. So uh, that's how it goes. So WWA and the AWA will be back at some point. I'm just having a blast doing the WWF for right now. So uh, with that said, let's go on to our card for this evening here. And again, this is the real card, except for the main event, with the asterisk has been changed. This was originally supposed to be Killer Khan versus Hulk Hogan. In the main event, Killer Khan can't go that long. It would not have been a good match, so I changed out Killer Khan with King Kong Bundy. All right, so here's our card for the evening, everybody. Lanny Poffo is going to face Ravishing Rick Rude. Brady Boone is going to face One Man Gang. One Man Gang's probably got him by 200 pounds. Outback Jack is going to face the Vicious Sika. The Shadows will be in tag team action once again against the Killer Bees. Dangerous Danny Davis is going to battle George the Animal Steel. Coco Beware is going to be in singles action against Nikolai Volkov. Junkyard Dog and Tito Santana will face Demolition in a tag team bout. In our main event, everybody, once again, we are going to have King Kong Bundy against Hulk Hogan for the heavyweight championship of the world. So with all that said, everybody, let's get to booking Pafo versus Rude in the opener here. Pafo versus Rude. Ten minutes. Here we go. Here is Leaping Lanny Pafo. And he is facing none other than Ravishing Rick Rude. And Rick Rude, of course, is going to get the win here, everybody. He has not been debuted on TV yet, but he is working the circuit on the house shows and on dark matches. 
All right, Brady Boone against One Man Gang. They are going to go 12 minutes. Boone versus One Man Gang. I'm sure this was really like a five-minute match, if that. But uh, for the purposes of TEW, we have to do things this way so it works out properly. All right, here is One Man Gang with the W. What a force the One Man Gang was. What a force. I hated him as a kid. Hated him. And then when I got older, I appreciate how huge the guy was and what he could do. All right, here we go. Outback Jack versus Sika. Here is Outback Jack. And here is Sika. Of course, Sika is going to get the victory here, everybody. The Samoan Savage himself. So that is three heel wins in a row. That's going to be broken up here. Uh, what's our length of this match? 12 minutes. Kali is tired here with the shadows. But again, we're keeping it realistic here. Here are the killer bees. Brian Blair is going to get the win for his team here, everybody. This one has booked the bees with the win. All right, Dangerous, Danny Davis against George the Animal Steel. They're going to go 14, which is way too long of a match for these two. But again, this is what we have to do with TEW. And we have Dangerous Danny Davis here. Here is George Steele. I was taking a look at the time there, everybody, because uh, one of these upcoming cards... I had to make some adjustments in time, and I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't this one that I adjusted. And it wasn't. All right, here we go. Manager interference here. Dangerous Danny Davis is going to get the win. And up next, Coco Beware and Nikolai Volkov. They're going to go 16. And Beware versus Volkov. I am going to do what was actually done. And along with the last match and this one, Coco Beware is going to get the win here. Here is Nikolai Volkov. And Coco Beware with the W. Might as well make it clean. It's not going to hurt anything. Up next, we have Junkyard Dog and Tito Santana. They are going to face Demolition. And this one goes 18. Here's Demolition. Here is Junkyard Dog. And Tito Santana. Now I think in real life, I think Dog and Tito Santana got the win. I'm not going to do that here. Demolition is going to get the win. They're going to get the win by cheating. We are pushing Demolition hard here. And Tito Santana is very shortly going to join Rick Martel here. All right, Bundy versus Hogan in the main event. King Kong Bundy is another guy I hated as a kid. But have learned to appreciate him as an adult. And King Kong Bundy was good in the ring. I especially like watching his early stuff in world class when he could still really move. I mean, he could even move at 400 and some pounds here in the WWF, but he was probably 50 to 100 pounds lighter in world class, and uh, he could really move. That match he had with uh, um, Fritz von Erich, Fritz von Erich's retirement match, I think it was 82 or 83, he sold. I mean, sold big time for Fritz. All right, here we go. Hogan and Bundy in the main event. And let me just double check this one I was talking while I was working here. Yes, Hulk Hogan is going to get the win. All right, we're at 135 minutes, just over two hours here, everybody, for this show. Let's take a look and see how we do. All right, Poffo versus Rude. Rude with an 80 over Lanny Poffo. 72 overall for this one. That's a nice opener. And Rude, of course, managed by Bobby Heenan. Brady Boone takes the fall of the one-man gang here. Gang with a 52. Boone 
with a 44. We got a 39 overall for this one. We got some red text to doom. What are you going to do? You're not going to win them all, everybody. Outback Jack versus Sika. Sika gets to win with the Samoan drop. Red text to doom here drops our score all the way down to a 47. But we'll be okay here. All right, Killer Bees get the win over the Shadows here. 72 overall, and I'm sure that Kali is penalized for being tired. He is. So there we go. All right, up next here, Davis and George Steele get a 70. That one surprises me. Davis, of course, with the victory here over the crafty veteran, George the Animal Steele, 70 overall. Let's see how we do here. Hey, Coco Beware and Nikolai Volkov get an outstanding 79. Good stuff. Ware gets the win with that Bird Buster, 78, and a 71 gets us a 79. It's good. These two uh, work very well together here in Chicago. All right, up next. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Junkyard Dog and Tito Santana against Demolition. Demolition gets the win by cheating with that dirty, no good Mr. Fuji. And we get a 73 and a 78 for Santana and Junkyard Dog. And 94 and a 99 for Demolition. Demolition is over. And it says here Dog and Tito Santana don't work too well together as a team. It's okay. They're not going to tag too much more here. All right, lots of green here. Green equals money in TEW. And outstanding score here for Demolition 90 overall in this one. Let's check out our main event here. And here we go. Hogan and Bundy get themselves a 92. And Hulk Hogan defends the World Heavyweight title once again. There is pose downs like no other at the end of this one. Probably 20 minutes post-match pose downs here for the Hulkster. This is uh, the epitome of his overness here, especially in Chicago. He was massive. So good match here, good main event, good card. Hogan with the victory here, everybody. Good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and finish this one up. No need to have any speeches. We've got a 90 overall. And we're going to finish this one up. So this puts us moving on here to Tacoma, Washington. We're going all the way across the country. Now, remember, these are just the cards I'm selecting. They had two or three, I think pretty much three towns a night, the WWF at this time period. So I, TEW limits us to only doing one card a night. So we have to make that change. Outhouse Jack. That's right. I called him Outhouse Jack. He's now going to be a brawler. Good for him. All right, All-American Wrestling got 185,000 views. BS, they got a lot more than that. Wrestling Challenge got 122,000 views. BS, they got a lot more than that. Brady Boone is tired. Shadow number one is tired. I think the Shadows are going to get a rest here for a couple days, which is good. David Isley, what happened to David Isley? He got hurt here, 26 years old. All right, let's take a look around the horn here. And you got the Rock and Roll Express versus the Russians in Philadelphia here. They only drew... 273 people, which is probably not too far from the truth. I'm kidding. They did not draw badly in uh, Philadelphia. What a horrible card. Absolutely horrible. Horrific card. Oh, they are just snake bitten this one. Saruta over Sonata to retain the NWA International Heavyweight title. Wow, what a card here. 95 in the main. Funk Brothers versus Choshu and Yatsu. Good stuff here, everybody. Really good stuff. All right, nothing else catches my eye, so that's going to wrap this one up for us, everybody. For those of you that are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop a message. Drop us a message below. Let us know you found the channel and what you think of us so far. Don't forget, we are at Patreon. Check us out, patreon.com slash PowerCast Network. For just $5 a month, everybody, the price of a cup of coffee, you can get access to not only version 10.1 of the Super Mod, not only all of our shows early and ad-free, but you will also get access to all of our spreadsheets and so much more over on patreon.com slash PowerCast Network. Don't forget, everybody, to check us out on social media, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987supermod. You can also find us over on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW2020Friends. And don't forget, everybody, we are also available on Discord under 1987supermod. Wrestling Fans International Association is looking for you. 
Check it out today, everybody. It's 100% free and gets you a free digital subscription to the uh, bi-monthly edition of Wrestling Fan News. The WFIA.org. So long for now, everybody. We'll see you next time.